All right, good afternoon, guys. What I want to show you is a couple of tips and tricks. So once I get my um, little four gallon a minute, uh, 12 volt primed down below, um, and these tips you can get from Walmart. A lot of guys are using them. Uh, cheap ten dollar wash tips. Go from the end to almost a zero degree, so you can really get some some good coverage there. This is an Uter uh, gun with just some Schedule uh, eighty uh, uh, PVC there. And you can fit these things together yourself. Make yourself a nice nice little gun. I highly recommend using this thing that we never use when you're climbing up and down the ladder because once it's prime and your twelve volt is on. If you just simply tap it, you're gonna soak yourself uh, with SH. Um, and you can see this thing is, is completely completely leak proof. It's on right now and there's nothing coming out of it. So it's all plumbed and fitted nicely. Um, I showed you guys the longer lance to get some of the higher sections. This is an X-Jet chemical pail that we're gonna use with 100 foot of siphon hose to get around basically a 50-50 mix. Um, so 10 gallons of uh, water, a little less, and uh, 10 gallons of SH uh, with uh, about a quarter cup of surfactant per five gallons. So when you guys are up there, uh, make sure you tie your hoses off. See how that hose is tied off? And that way there's no slippage. We'll be doing the same thing for this one here. We're gonna tie it off once we get done. So we're gonna pre-treat everything. Now over here in the corner, I wanna show you guys how that hose is running into the gutter. And the reason for that is because if you notice, these downspouts are plumbed into the ground. And what will happen is your SH will come down in there and as it bubbles up and comes in, you'll have a big burn mark right there. So what I like to do is get some water into those gutters early. I'm about to crank up the machine right now. I'm about to go up and begin pre-treating. Once I pre-treat that whole deck um, to get all that mold and mildew sort of disturbed, get the surface wet, um, and that way we can start treating some of those cedar planks and some of that brick. Um, and uh, all the wood's being replaced on this home, so we're really doing brick restoration, uh, but we're trying to get rid of all the organic matter uh, before the guys come in here and start ripping things apart um, and make things look really, really nice. So uh, just wanted to give you guys some tips, tips and tricks. Also, I wanna show you something else. If you look on top of this ladder that I've got extended a little past 18 feet, you can see a strap, okay? And that strap is around a support beam and it's tied and locked. And that way, uh, that ladder won't move whatsoever. Uh, really, really important uh, to do. Um, you know, make sure you're safe out there. We've got sustained 15 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. So we've got, uh, we've got quite, a, quite a bit of uh, wind today. Um, and so that's it. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys how we're, how we're set up and how we're ready to uh, tackle upstairs completely solo, effortless, and easy. Have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning.